So in my previous video, I talked about the official teaser of the Asus ROG Phone 8, where we got to see the rear design of the phone. Now that was a few days ago, and by now Asus has already announced that it is launching the ROG Phone 8 series at the CES next month. Now we have the official renders of the ROG Phone 8 series along with the specifications thanks to Windows report. And this massive leak has revealed a lot of details. So in this video, let us talk about everything that we got to know. First thing first, there are two phones under this series, the ROG Phone 8 and the ROG Phone 8 Pro. Now this was the case with the ROG Phone 7 series as well, but the difference was in the naming. Instead of the ROG Phone 7 Pro, we had the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. But this time Asus is not using the Ultimate branding. As for the design, we can see that the ROG Phone 8 series looks pretty different from any ROG Phone launched so far. On the front, the series has a hole punch design and pretty slim bezels. In fact, this is the first ROG Phone series to have the hole punch design because in previous generations, we had phones with big top and bottom bezels. The back design is also less flashy this time. There is that unique camera module design and both the phones have a two-tone look on the back. There is a big ROG logo on the back which has RGB light and both the phones have some text in different places on the back. The ROG Phone 8 series has IP68 certification, the first for an ROG Phone series. And this does not mean that there is no headphone jack. In fact, both the phones have a 3.5mm headphone jack. There is also that secondary USB Type-C port on the left side to connect various accessories. Now one of the complaints of the ROG Phone 7 series was the weight and the thickness. The ROG Phone 8 series is slimmer and lighter. The weight has reduced from 239 grams to 225 grams and the thickness from 10.3mm to 8.9mm. And well, that is all about the design. As for the specifications, both the ROG Phone 8 and 8 Pro have the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset with LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. One difference between the two phones is in the storage options. The ROG Phone 8 has only one variant with 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. But the ROG Phone 8 Pro has 16GB or 24GB RAM with up to 1TB storage. Now one of the reasons why this new series is slimmer and lighter is because there is a smaller battery. Compared to a 6000mAh battery inside the ROG Phone 7 series, the ROG Phone 8 series has a 5500mAh battery. Both phones have a 6.78 inch Samsung AMOLED panel with 2500 nits peak brightness, 165Hz refresh rate and a full HD plus resolution. The source that shared these details mentions LTPO as well but only for the Pro model. For now, we only know the camera specifications of the ROG Phone 8 Pro. So the triple camera setup on the back has a 50 megapixel Sony IMX890 sensor for the primary camera, a 13 megapixel sensor for the ultra wide camera and a 32 megapixel sensor for the 3x telephoto camera. For selfies, there is a 32 megapixel sensor. So on paper, this is a pretty good camera setup. Finally, both the phones run on Android 14 based ROG UI. And well, that is all about the ASUS ROG Phone 8 and ROG Phone 8 Pro. This time it looks like ASUS has focused on making these phones appealing to not just the gamers but also regular users. What do you think of the specifications and the design? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.